Gentlemen, I have done something, something very big, and possibly life-altering. I am now the owner of a 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Starting on the outside here, again, this is a 2017 Tacoma TRD Sport. Um, I do have a suspension lift on here that came how I bought it with the dealership. I, I think it's a three inch lift. I'm not entirely sure and I don't know uh, what brand it is. I would assume it's a Toyota Toytec or something like that. And that three inch lift actually allows me to fit these larger tires, which are the BF Goodrich All Terrains. These are 285 70R17s, so technically they're 32s or 33s. I can't remember something like that. Very aggressive stance. It looks really good. The tires are pulled out just slightly too, so there's a slight negative offset to those uh, TRD wheels. So it's pushing out my, my tires a little bit more, gives it that more aggressive look. Of course, we've got the, um, the TRD Pro style grill here, which comes factory on the, um, on the TRD Sports. And then on the bed, this also, again, how I bought it, it comes with this bed cover, which is weather sealed. So I can store stuff in here. I can travel with this truck and put suitcases and stuff in here, not worrying about it getting absolutely soaking wet. Now some water does get in it, but it's not as bad as it would be like just, you know, sitting open in the rain. All right, now let me show you a couple of the cool features that I have noticed already about this car that I love. First of all is the handle. So I have the keys here, but I don't need to do anything to unlock or lock the car. So let me lock this real quick and just show you. So the car is locked, I can't open it. It's not openable, but put the keys in my pocket and watch what happens. The keys are just in my pocket. I'm gonna stick my hand and it unlocks. How amazing is that? And you see those two little ridges right there? I can actually lock the car just by doing this. And then it locks it. Which makes like the keyless entry for this vehicle is absolutely astounding. Oh, it truly is just absolutely incredible this vehicle. I, I love everything about it. It's amazing. But I did not just randomly go out and purchase a vehicle in the middle of a pandemic. There is a backstory behind this whole thing and it's a long one. So to keep it brief, I got into a horrible, and I mean a horrible car accident on Halloween. Like it was really bad guys. It, I'm lucky that I walked away okay and same with the other person. Like. We are both lucky that we don't have a scratch. And this car accident is probably the worst accident I have ever been in. It's definitely the worst accident I've ever been in. Um, airbags went off, like completely crushed the front end of my 4Runner. RIP to the 4Runner because I loved that car, but it's completely gone. Um, so that left me completely vehicleless, and it was time for an upgrade. The 4Runner was getting old. Even though I loved that car, I would have kept that car for years. I would have never gotten rid of that car had I not gotten into an accident. But it was time for an upgrade. And I've always wanted a Toyota Tacoma. I have always wanted one. I thought they looked sick. Even before I got my 4Runner, I wanted a Tacoma because I love that small form factor truck. They look so aggressive. They look so sick when they have a lift on them and some nice sets of tires and stuff like that. Plus they're extremely modifiable. You can make this thing your own with all the customization options that these trucks have. It's actually kind of, it's actually kind of dope. Let's go over a few of my favorite things on the inside of the car. I really do love this onboard radio system here. Ignore my, my music here, let's go back. So if we go to the home screen here, I'm hiding my contacts, but forgive me. Um, on the home screen here, I've got down here at the bottom where my hand is covering, that's my contacts, like my quick access contacts. So if I need to call like my wife or my dad or whoever, that's where that is. It's also got like audio up in the top left. And then on the, on the right side, you've got navigation. The car also has a lot of really unique features as well. 
Let me pull up this so you can see. So down here, like above the entertainment and the dash and stuff like that, of course, I've got my four wheel drive controls right here. I've got my air conditioning, my window defroster. And then down here, this is for like my tow power. So if I wanted to tow something, plug in a trailer, I could do that with this button. It would give it power. This button actually activates this pad down here, which is a wireless charging for my phone. How freaking awesome is that? Wireless charging built into the car. And then also down here, if I didn't want to use the wireless charging, I've got my aux and my USB input, as well as like, you know, your regular old cigarette lighter if you wanted to put in um, a charger into that one. And then coming around to the other side here, I've got some really standard Toyota controls. So this is like my, um, my uh, bed lights on the back of the truck. So if I wanted to light those up at nighttime, if I needed to get something out of the bed and I can't see, that's that. This is also power for inside the bed. So there's an outlet inside the bed where I can plug stuff in like, um, you know, like an air compressor or, or whatever. I could even plug it like in a carpet cleaner if I wanted to clean out the carpets of the truck. And then this is for my back glass, my sliding back glass. This truck is awesome. I mean, I really don't need to say much about it other than the fact that I am so excited to have it and it's, it's absolutely incredible. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a life update um, being that I made my first adult purchase, this is crazy. I've, I've never done anything like this before. I did have the 4Runner before, um, but you know, that was a, a car that my parents gave me when I graduated high school. So this is the first car that I have ever bought on my own, purchased. I am the owner officially of this vehicle and it feels so, so good. <laughs> As far as modifications I have planned in the future, um, obviously first things first, exhaust. Gotta get this thing sounding right. It's gonna sound like a muscle car. It's gonna sound badass. I think I wanna do a light bar in that gap between like the grill and the bumper because a lot of people do that. It looks clean and it's not something I have to drill into the frame on the top of the truck or anything like that for. So just a way for me to add extra light if I really wanted to. Definitely gonna be redoing all the interior lights with LEDs and possibly swapping out the headlights and taillights for a better set of LED projectors with, you know, daytime running nights, halos, all that type of stuff. So again, not the longest or craziest video I've ever done by any means whatsoever, but again, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a life update, tell you what's been going on, why I haven't been uploading. Part of that reason is because I got into a car accident and I've been having to deal with all the aftermath that is a car accident and also trying to find and purchase a new truck, which I did. And finally, things are starting to get back to normal, thankfully. Before we close out today's video, guys, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to today's video sponsor, Rose Gold and Black. As you guys know, Rose Gold and Black is one of my favorite jewelry companies on the market. I'm literally wearing their necklace right now. I wear their stuff every single day because it goes well with everything and their pieces are at an incredible price point. Guys, if you're looking to upgrade your style, be sure to click on the link in the description. Head over to rosegoldandblack.com and grab yourself some awesome jewelry pieces at an amazing price. Right now as well, we are approaching their Black Friday sale, which is one of their biggest sales in the entire year, and stuff is going to be heavily discounted. So don't miss out. Click the link in the description and head over to rosegoldandblack.com today. All right, guys, that wraps it up for today's video. I'm losing light outside quickly, so be sure to click that like button down below. Drop your comments in the comment section. Let me know what videos you'd like to see next. Subscribe if you are not already, and I will see you in the next video. I'm out.